God love unto salvation, unto justification. But the Holy Spirit, the love of God, still brought into your heart and the destiny and purpose and performance and manifestation. Are we here together? Yes. So the Holy Ghost is also the love of God being manifest. But not for, not only to us, but in us. Yes. Somebody say, he's living in me right now. Right if you understand now, when we use the word power, that's what I'm going to teach for. Please pray for me that I can stand here and just take a few steps. Because I want to teach and maybe I'll read some scriptures. I want you to think of the word power. We always talk about exousia. We talk about dunamis. But when I was researching this thing, uh, uh, General Love, power, when you give somebody power to do something, you're providing everything. See, it's more than strength. It's more than position. Power is you're providing a complete package to them. If I give you the power to go buy a car, it means I'm going to give you the money, the place, the type of car, and how to get there, when to get there, when to go. I'm giving you power to do it. So all you got to do is take what I give you and go walk in it. Somebody say amen. 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 Ah! Let me say it again. Let me say it again. I'm going to talk to you. See, when we talk about giving, when God gives us power, power, power means a complete package. It means that I give you everything you need. You don't have to do nothing but apply what I gave you. Yes. Let me say it again. If I give you power to go buy a car, it means that I'm going to tell you where to go. I'm going to give you the money. I'm going to tell you when to get there. I'm going to say I'm waiting for you. I'm going to tell you what direction to take. I'm going to give you the clothes to where to get there. Y'all ain't saying that I'm giving you power. I'm going to give you sense to get there. Sense to follow direction. So I'm giving you everything. Once I give you that power, all you got to do is get on your way and keep walking. And you will see what it is that I know. Because I gave you the power to do it. I didn't tell you to ask nobody else. I didn't tell you to go pray no more. I didn't tell you to go fast no more. I gave you power to do it. So you're supposed to just go do what I said because I gave you the complete package. Yes. Good God, do you hear me? So when we talk about God giving us power, let me get, let me just let, see. Let, let me just say something to you because the ultimate plan of the enemy is to bring the, 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 the children of God to a life of full of hatred. Let me talk to you. See, we always when Paul talks about his devices. If you look at the, the voice before that, he said, "Now I want you to forgive others. I'll forgive them because you forgive them." And I'm forgiving you because I don't want Lucifer to take advantage of us because we're not ignorant of his devices. Come on. So all of his devices are designed to bring you to hatred. Come on. Why, General? Can we just talk? Yes. Or y'all want some hooping? Why? Because your mission is love. Yes. God's plan for you is love. Yes. So the devil don't care about taking your car. Come on. What he wants to do is try to put you through a process of things to bring you to hatred. Because when you are living in hatred now, you're totally separated from God's will for you. That's right. It's not the, I teach you all right, it's not the building, it's not the choir, it's not the clothes. If you're not walking in love, now you're not walking in God. Because Paul said, if you root and ground in love, and know the height, the length, and the breadth of it, then you'll be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. So what Lucifer's strategy is, his mission is to get you to hatred. And he'll use whatever he has to do. The reason the world is in the state that it is because people are hating one another. Yes, yes. You're always saying nothing to me, but I feel like preachers. Amen. See, his primary uh, 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 um, strategy is to promote strife. Mm -hmm. Come on. And here's what he uses, Demetrius. He uses you. Yes. He started this with Lucifer. Yes. Then he did it with Adam. He wants you to focus on you and how you feel, what you think, what you want. And now you can't love people because everybody around you got to serve you. Come on now. I'm not going to be here long. But he has a strategy. Mm -hmm. Religion. It's a strategy of the devil. Come on. Religion who judges people Come on. and rejects people. Come on. It's a strategy of the devil. Yes. Religion. These robes and crowns and oil and crosses and Come on. religion. Come on. A strategy of the devil. Because all he wants you to do is start judging and looking down your nose at somebody. Yes. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Yes. Because his whole strategy is to get the church to not walk in love. And Demetrius said it here Wednesday night, and that boy stuck with me. We are supposed to infest the world with love. That's true. And if he get us to not love, because love's supposed to start here yes. and then infect the world. Yes. But if we can't get it right here because you don't look like us, you don't smell like us, you're not the same orientation, you're not the same denomination, you didn't go to the same school. If we can't love people here, come on, come on. I'm getting in trouble here. Let me go because. I feel like I'm in here by myself, so I just preached to me this morning. The problem is, Lucifer's charge, because I'm taking it somewhere, is to get us to a place of hatred. He don't mind you feel good. He don't mind you shout. He don't mind you having things. That's true. That's true. What he don't want you to do is love people. That's right. That's 
Because long as there's no love, it's going to be strife. That's right. That's right. And it's so subtle. Yes. We hide it behind love. We hide it behind what we think love is. Yes. We hide it behind feelings and emotions. Yes. But what Lucifer wants us to do is to not accept one another. Yes. You know, God help me. You're, you're just, we just talking, man. I told my wife this day because I'm reading some stuff, you know, because I'm looking after this love thing, y'all. Because what's missing in the world, if you really look at it, is love. Yes. And the thing that God told us to do is love. Yes. But everything that we've learned and we've brought up is totally contrary to love. Yes. We can't get along with nobody because we have too many standards. Come on. Shut up, I'm stop. Mm. Hallelujah. We have all these things that we have in people's way. That we can't accept them. And God is saying, why was this man born blind? He was born blind for the glory of God. See, my job is not to judge you. Come my on. God is to accept you right. and love you and let God work on you as he worked on me. Glory yes. to God. Yes. God have a hand at, and let God process you as he processed me. But we have so many standards up and we have so many things written on the wall. <laughs> and we misuse the scripture that we are judging people because we don't understand that we're supposed to love them. That's true. That's true. What would happen if the church made a decision to love? He wants you to focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. Because he wants you to get prideful. Mm -hmm. Because when you're prideful, you can't forgive. Right. Come on. I'm not going to get to the message I came to preach. So we're just going to talk. Can we just talk? That's why you understand why Jesus said to Peter, Master, how many times should I forgive my brother? Up to seven times? He said, no, no, Peter. You have to understand that forgiveness is required for love. So you have to forgive them up to 70 times seven times. That means eternal forgiveness. Oh, yes. right there. Right there. Right there. Can I talk to you all? I'm off my message. So yes. You have to understand that love will always demand forgiveness. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Shall I? Forgiving people ain't easy. When they keep doing the same thing over and over again. So I got to go back to Jesus when he said it had to be 70 times 7. So if I can, if I can figure that out, then I know you're not going to live that long. Somebody say amen. So I have to understand why, why, the why. Talk to me, Holy Ghost. Because when Jesus came, he came as love manifested. Stay with me. When he was leaving, his last request was, Father, forgive them. Yes. Yes. Y'all understand. See, y'all missing that. Love. In its purest form, but also always demand forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't get to the place where we can come down off our high horse yes. and forgive people, yes. some of y'all sitting here right now, you have ought against your brother. Come on. And the Bible says that you have ought against your brother. Go, but before you give your tithe, and not most of y'all ain't do that. Before you give your tithe, go make up with your brother. Yes. Before you give your seed, go make up with your brother. Before you come to bands and sing and preach, go make up with your brother. Amen. There's a reason for that. Yes. The reason is that the kingdom of power is without love. Amen. That's true. That's true. Boy, you already saying nothing to me. Yes. Hallelujah. I am crucified with Christ. Glory to God. Yet I live. Even though I live, yet not I. Because we have to get this. Because I'm going to talk to you now. Give me about 10 minutes. We have to understand that your mission is love. Mm -hmm. And anytime you're not acting in love, it's the devil. Amen. Because he don't want to see the vision of God come to pass. He don't want to see the purpose of God come to pass. And if he can keep us in strife. Mm -hmm. That's why James, I believe, is the one who said, see, we, Peter said, we've been given these great and precious promises that we can be partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. Which means that, see, we, every time you hear lust, you think sex. But he's talking about lust after things. Yes, yes. Power, position. Yes. That's what he tempted Jesus with. And because we are not love, we are lusting after things to make ourselves feel better. Yes, 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 yes. So when God says, I give you power, mm -hmm. he says, I'm giving you the complete package mm -hmm. to go do what I call you to do. Wow. So I'm going to give you some scripture right now. Not going to be a long message, but I feel it's going to be good for you. If you, if you can hear me say amen. Amen. You, we have to learn, God has revealed through his own actions that the antidote to, to humanity is love. Yes. Love is the plan of God for success and destiny. He provides a place for us to love. He provides instructions on how to love. He gave us the significance of love. Then he gave us the Holy Spirit to love. Mm -hmm. 
which means that the power, the whole package of love, you have it. Mm -hmm. I don't expect nobody to say amen.